This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. I'm not sure I should go so far as to call this a prediction. But here is a possibility that's been bugging me for a while. If you've been paying attention, you've noticed, yeah, maybe if, even if you haven't been paying attention, you've noticed that there are a lot of efforts, it seems, to mainstream the idea of extraterrestrials visiting Earth. People who aren't even interested in that sort of thing seem to bring it up now. And, for instance, they're bringing up the fact that the Pope is talking about it quite a bit, or at least the Church apparently is. There was that bizarre statement that uh, Keynesian poster child Paul Krugman made. He appeared on television and said, Oh, well, if, if we discovered there were space aliens and we built a giant shield and then later discovered that there were no space aliens and it had all been for nothing, it would still be great because people would have been employed building the giant shield. There was also a documentary that came out on one of the main channels recently, a very mainstream type of documentary that, that looked into the, you know, the kinds of planning that government has been doing, <laughs> various governments have been doing for so-called space aliens and going into detail about what kind of guerrilla warfare would be effective against them. It was actually a pretty good documentary. But, but again, I keep going back to Paul Krugman's statement. I wonder if there was more truth in that than we think, in the sense that, well, that may be exactly what the government does at some point. They may decide to tell us all that there are space aliens and we need to do something to prepare against this external threat. It would be the perfect distraction at their desperate moment. Kind of like the Oklahoma City bombing was the perfect distraction at Bill Clinton's desperate moment. It saved his presidency. I don't know who did it. I don't know why. But I know who benefited. So I wonder if something along those lines might happen uh, at the moment where the government feels it's about to, to fall out of power. And by the government, I mean the federal government, not some party. No idea if something like that's going to happen. No idea if it would work. But I'd really be kicking myself if it happened and I hadn't at least broached the possibility first. Of course, there's another possibility, and that is that space aliens really are around and they're actually running the country. I mean, if you wanted to run the world into, a gro into the ground, uh, that's, that's a pretty good way to do it, and that does seem to be what most of the governments are doing. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.